Hello, it is week eight. I can't believe it's already week eight. Um, you know that saying, I think they use it with parents, like the days are long, but the years are short or whatever that is. Like, I feel like that's the same for marathon training. Like part of me feels like we just started. And then the other part of me is like, we are almost halfway through this training cycle, which seems really crazy to think. But anyway, it is Monday. I went out for three easy miles. Katie is hitting the treadmill tonight. Um, she's got some strategy in play for how she's gonna try to work through busy work for the next couple weeks and then getting her running in. And part of that is leveraging that new treadmill that she just got. So um, we are a little over a week away from the Halloween half marathon weekend. So I have a cutback week this week. Last week was a peak, was peak week for that. Um, so longest distance I've run, week, week distance, and then had that little simulation in there. So I'm trying to stay motivated this week. I tend to like go like, I feel like peak and valley, like I'm motivated, but then like when I have a really hard week or the har or harder week, the week before I'm like, I just want to relax. So I told myself how to get out here today and it was fine. It was three miles. I listened to the Alley on the Run podcast with Dakota Lindworm. So it was interesting to have watched her run the marathon at the Olympics and then to hear her perspective on it. So but that'll do it for Monday and the start of week eight. Happy Monday. We are back on the treadmill today. Uh, yeah. We're just going to do what we got to do. Goal is 30 minutes tonight. I think it's going to be a walk just based on how I'm feeling. Still tired, still adjusting, but yeah, let's get this done. All right, and that is 30 minutes done. I feel a little bit better, a little more awake. Still ready to eat dinner and get into bed though. See you guys tomorrow. Oh, hello. Happy Wednesday. I am out on something. It's supposed to be a progression run. That was definitely not happening because it is heat wave central back in Virginia and it is feels like 107 degrees right now so I was just gonna do the four miles at whatever pace I could and a mile or so into it I just I couldn't and I just was changing my intervals and like trying to make it work and then finally I was like just walk it back like you know, I'm just like struggling to walk so I know lessons learned of like, don't go out at 5.30 on the hottest day, one of the hottest days of the summer. Um, they did say this is the hottest, today was gonna be the hottest day um, since 1940. So, you know, but as I said last week, I was very excited. Oh, my runs are falling in the perfect bucket. They're so good, I'm getting cocky. I'm getting really excited about things. I was humbled today and that's okay because again if everything was always easy and everything went always to plan everyone would be running marathons all the time because it would be easy to do the trick is we get out here and we do the best we can on the miles even when they don't go exactly as planned so it's also my taper week before I leave for California for Disneyland half and I am still toying, toying, toying with the idea of racing the half marathon. So I have never even considered beyond my first half marathon when I was so scared of not finishing that I didn't want to stop for anything. And I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to get it done because I was so scared of being swept that once I got over that fear, it's always been about having fun. And I've been working hard for this, this year so far since Dopey and um, changing some things around. And I, I want to push myself now and that I haven't felt that way in a while. And you know, 
my my coach Allison she has been great and she's like yeah let's try it let's go for it let's push and I think that I want to see where I'm at I want to get a sense and a read on where I am going into every woman's marathon and this can help me figure out what goals to set for that I do realize that it's after a 5k and a 10k so there is that level of fun to add into it but you know what at the end of the day why not try right why not me why not try and so we'll see I'm gonna have to play it by ear um, I'm gonna play it by how the weather is too it's looking like it's gonna be warm in California and also gonna give myself the grace that those races can be very crowded and it was really crowded in January and if it doesn't go perfect that's okay but try so I guess that's me putting it out there that I'm gonna try to run the half marathon at Disneyland Halloween for time and we'll see so if you see me out there or if you see me in the corral and I look like a hot mess it's because I'm probably slightly terrified that now I've told all of you my secret and yeah so I'm gonna finish this walk and I'm glad now I've like had a little pep talk with myself here too about feeling better and it's okay that today's not a bad day so all right I'm gonna get finished I got one lap to go and then I'm done so I'll see you Friday or Saturday good morning good morning I don't know why I say it like the time is the same where you are as it is where we are when you're watching this, but it's our morning. It's about just about 6.30. We're starting a little bit later now on these Saturday long runs because it's still dark at 6 o'clock. So getting ready. Katie's got some miles that she keeps, you know, <laughs> doesn't want to be reminded of. So um, I have 10. I have one more than last week. Okay. So if you watched last week, <laughs> you could do the math. <laughs> uh, just that time where they just keep getting longer. Yeah. Unless you throw a half marathon race in there. And then you get a little break before. So, different part of the trail today. But same trail as always. So we're going to go ahead and kick these running days off. Look at the babies and their mama. Oh, so cute. Oh, oops. So cute. Hi, little guys. Oh. oh my gosh, there's three up there. Four. Oh my gosh. You're a busy mama taking care of all those babies. Okay, we just hit five miles. We're turning around. I have one more set of five miles. Katie just has to do four and a half miles two times. So we're doing some runner's math and she's gonna turn around when she hits nine and a half. So that way she, she doesn't go all the way back with me and not wanna keep so going. Yeah, So, but this is better to run nine and a half together than five together. So we're on our way back now. The trail's been really crowded. Um, a lot of cycling groups so it's been a little bit of a bobbing and weaving kind of morning but I get it done back to it we go
Beep beep. It's the struggle bus here to pick up two runners. Yeah. Ugh. Today did not really go as planned, unfortunately. But that's part of why we do these long runs, I guess, to learn how to deal with this. But the humidity definitely won out today, I think. But we got 10 in. And now we're not done for the week because tomorrow we're running the Donut Dash 5K. So with all of our dopey strong friends that live in the Northern Virginia area. So it'll be a fun little run Disney meetup. But we're going to call this one done and forget about it. Yep. That's about Check all we can do. Go. Check and go. <laughs> oh, and there's a little cardinal over there. So someone's telling us hi. Uh, okay, well, we'll see you tomorrow for the donut. Good morning from the Donut Dash 5K. Yay, look at how happy Katie looks. So happy to be running again today. But we have friends and donuts, so that'll make it fun. Yay. Cheer squad! Mama and Mr. James! They forget to see us. <laughs> and our Dopey Strong crew is out almost in my own. We're Dopey A strongly <laughs> talking about all things Disney. What could be better? <laughs> okay. Yay! How's everyone feeling? It's hot. Hot. Yeah. We're literally swimming. Yay. They're wearing mermaids. How's that? Because we put our, we put our mermaids on. <laughs> We are done with the Donut Dash 5K. And the perfect way to end uh, week eight, we had a lot of fun with our dopey strong friends and mm -hmm. getting to meet people that you are friends with on Facebook and in different training programs with is really fun. And now when we go to Disney, we'll all be able to hang out there too. And we did 30, 30 intervals all together and just had a good old time. So, yeah. all right, that'll do it for, I think this is week eight. I think so. At this point, all the weeks blend together, but we are slowly getting closer to Marathon Day. And with that, thanks for watching and see you again next week.